Okay, now we're going to talk about posting our manual content, which is going to be our textual content. Okay, so what we need to do is just go posts, and then we're going to add a new post. And now this is really self-explanatory. There's not much to show you here other than what you need to do in your posts. Now remember, keywords are what's going to get you the traffic. By putting the keywords in the post title, it also ends up in your URL. And by putting the keywords in your text down here, it also helps with search engines. And then also you want to put in tags. Okay, so make sure you post your tags in here for your post. Okay, so I'm going to do one on making candy corn. Okay, so my keyword that I'm going for for this post is a candy corn recipe. So that's exactly what I put in the post title. Down here, I'm going to make sure that my post has candy corn recipe in the first sentence. Okay, so here I have this candy corn recipe. Okay, and then I continue with my article. And you'll find it in here a couple of more times as well. Okay, and then over here, we need to put in our tags. So we put in candy corn, comma, candy corn recipe, making candy. Okay, we add, and there are our tags are all in there for us now. Down here, we pick our category. Now we have recipes and then if we wanted to put a category under it we could add a new category here but that's good enough for now. Okay down here you can decide whether you're going to allow comments. It is set as the default to allow comments. And down here if you want to change the title or you want to add some keyword you can do that down here as well. So let's add candy corn. This is the all-in-one SEO pack. Candy corn recipe and making candy. Okay, and then just go back up here and publish. Okay, and now if we go and view our site, we have recipes. Okay. And there is our candy corn recipe shown at the top of our recent posts. And there it is. Okay, so that's all I really need to show you about putting in your manual content. Now, you probably want to put some manual content in there every two to three days if you can, but at least every week. Don't let it go any longer than that because you want some content that isn't being auto-generated in here and it's also going to be unique content. Okay, so that's it for adding the content. Now let's get to the monetization part of our blog. Okay, now that we have our blog up and running and we have content on it, we can start monetization. Now, if you already have sources to monetize it, like AdSense and CPA offers, you could actually do that at the same time you're creating your blog. However, if you have to apply for these programs, it's better to have the content up first, at least some of it, like we've done here. I've created the blog so that it is ready to put content on, and then I could go and apply for AdSense or CPA offers, and I could put my affiliate links on here. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have the most luck when I put AdSense and CPA offers on a site. I don't have as much luck with selling things off my site as an affiliate. So you can do it either way you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I use effectively. And that is to use AdSense and CPA offers. Okay, so you can apply to these programs just by pointing at this site. That's all you have to do if you need to apply. Just go and set up a Google account apply for AdSense and then for the site just point to this site and same with any CPA network that you want to apply for. I suggest Max Bounty for that one. There's a link for that in the resources document. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get your monetization on here. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some AdSense on first. So sign into your AdSense account once you have one. Okay, so go into AdSense setup, then go into AdSense for content. And we're going to put a couple of blocks on here. So first we're going to do an ad unit. And we can do text and image ads. Okay, let's continue. Now colors, what we want to do is we want to try and blend our colors in the best that we can here. Okay, so let's go back to our blog. Let's bring it up here. Now first we're going to put an AdSense unit right in here. So what we want to do is get this background color here. And to do that, we can go to the style sheet. So if we go to appearance, and then we go to editor. Okay, and when we come into our editor, we're at the style sheet. And this is where our colors are defined. So what we want to do is go down here until we find our sidebar. Okay, so just copy the color code in here, leave the pound sign behind. We don't need that. And then go over to our Google AdSense side and put it in the background part. Okay, so here where it says background, just paste it in there. And there's the color. Okay, we can also change our title links to add. And I'm going to change these to black. Border going to make the same as this. Text and URL. Make black as well. Okay, so there's the block that I'm going to use. It's going to look like that. And then we just pick the size here. Okay, now first we're going to put one down the side. Okay, a vertical block. So we'll do a 120 by 240. Okay. Now we can just continue. And here we can add a channel if we want. Let's add a new channel. And we'll call it Candy. This just helps you keep track of your clicks. Okay, we'll continue. And we can give it a name up here if we want. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. If we want to make a new name for each block, we can do it there. Okay, here is our AdSense code. Okay, so let's copy that. Let's go back to our theme here. And now let's go to widgets. Okay, and we're going to put an AdSense block along the sidebar. Okay, so all we have to do is find a text widget here. Let's bring this up and put it underneath posts. Okay, and then just paste our AdSense code right in there and save. Okay, now let's go have a look here. First go to Dashboard. That way you don't accidentally erase what you just did. And let's have a look here. Okay, this is where our AdSense content will appear. Now the reason it isn't appearing now is because it will take a little bit of time for the AdSense system to know that it is supposed to put something here. So it'll take a few refreshes before anything will show up. Okay, while we're waiting for that to appear, we could put a, another AdSense block in here if we want as well. We could put a rectangle block or a banner across the top here on our home page. So let's go and do that. Let's go back and we will create another ad here. Okay, so we'll create another ad 
here. And we can just do this on single page. It's a little easier, I think. Okay, so then again here, we set up what we want here. So we're going to use a medium rectangle. And here we're going to put in our colors again. So our border and our background or this color text and our URL were black and our title was black there we go okay so there's our ad unit again and we can select our channel and that's it. We'll submit and get code. Grab this code. And then what we're going to do, if we go back here, we're going to want this, wherever we're going to put it on our home page, we can just do it by editing the actual page code here. And we can switch this to HTML. And if we want it on the top, we can just place it right there like that and publish update the page let's have a look here okay this is where our AdSense code would appear okay you'll see this code is now appearing down here and we could have matched it to these colors here let's try again here might take a couple times of refreshing for the code to show up Okay, while we're waiting for this, let's put a link unit in. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's get ads. We'll add the link unit here. That stands for content. And then go to single page. Pick the link unit this time. And then we'll pick the size here. Okay, and then again, we have our border color, our link color, and our background color. Okay, we could actually change this link color to be the same color as the links on our site and probably should do that okay we could also set our fonts a little bigger here as well okay so again we'll add our channel in there and we'll get our code okay grab this come back here Let's go back to administration here. Let's go to widgets again. In appearance. Widgets. Okay, and then let's get another text one. Okay, let's paste our code in. Save. Okay, now let's click on dashboard to make sure everything gets saved. Okay, and our link unit will show up right in here. Now what we should do is we should change the text colors on both of these. So if we go back to our style sheet again, let's go back to appearance and editor and then if we find our sidebar and link colors so roll down to you find your sidebar actually no we don't go to the style sheet uh, 
part of the sidebar, what we need to do is come to the top and look for the link parameter here. Okay, so where we see this A, that's our link color, and this is it right here. Okay, so let's go back to AdSense here. And let's change our link color. To that. And as you see, they are red over here now. And let's save the settings. Okay, let's also do the same thing with this one. Change the light color. text color so they match same with this one change the title too, I suppose. Okay. Okay, so we got all those matching now. If we go back, the changes may not show up right away. Let's see. No, not yet. Okay, so there it is. I actually changed this. I decided to put a banner on the top and I move this one down to the bottom. So we have this ad unit up here because it's not so intrusive. We have the bigger one underneath. We have our link unit over here and we have our other AdSense unit down at the bottom there. Okay, so we put that code right on the pages. Now you might also want to put it where your posts are. So if you go to your post, you might want to have your AdSense show up in here as well. And to do that, all we have to do is modify the template and put the same code on there. Now to do that, what we can do is we can go to our cPanel, then we'll go to the File Manager, and to where our blog is, Public HTML, and Making Candy. Then we go to WP-Content, and then we go to Themes, where our theme files are. Okay, And then our theme is this one, 79. Now we have a couple places that we can do this. We can do it in the single, which is our single post. So if you click on that and you edit the file, here is the code. Okay, now you'll usually see a loop of code like this if have post the post, okay? So what it does is it loops around in here and puts out the post content and then down here it puts out the permalink and the title and the content is down here. So right underneath the content and right above the content you can put the same code that you have here. So above the content you can put this AdSense code and below the content you can put this AdSense code. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go get the code Let's go into the admin area here. Let's go get the code from our page. Okay, so this is our banner code. So let's grab that, do a copy. And let's go over here and right above where it says the content. paste that code in there 
and then right under that we'll paste the other code let's go back to our blog here grab the code from the bottom now do a copy go back over here and then right under it where it says the content we'll paste that code in here okay we'll save now, if we go look at one of our single posts, let's go back to our site. Let's click on this link here. Okay, there is our AdSense code at the top. And this is our AdSense code at the bottom. And of course, we still have it on our sidebar anyway, because the sidebar shows everywhere. So that's how you can get your AdSense code all throughout your posts. In the next video, We'll continue with monetization and then we'll go into how to get traffic to our site.